What's good, MABW team? What's going on today, MABW fam? I'm back today with another video. Let's get right into it, okay? I came across this video right here, or this photo that you see right here, in my timeline on the news, right? In my Yahoo news section. This grandmother here has to care for 12 grandchildren after the mother died while giving birth. The mother was giving birth to her 12th child and unfortunately she succumbed to giving birth to her 12th child. Now it's on the grandmother to raise all 12 of those children. Now rest in peace, rest in peace to the young lady that passed away. She was 35 years old. All I have is some questions, okay? My first question is, why does the grandmother have to take care of all these children? Where are the fathers at? And if the and if the lady that had um, these children with whether it be several men or one man, if she know that that man is not capable of taking care of those children, why are you on your twelfth child? There's no way in hell I would be on my twelfth child as a man. If I know that I couldn't give those children everything that they needed, there is no way in hell as a man, I would want to be on my 12th child knowing if I passed away, those children wouldn't financially, financially be taken care of. There's no way in hell I would have to want all my 12 kids, if I did have 12 kids, to go to my mother, leaving that strain on her. Women, you have to take accountability for your actions. You never know when judgment day is going to come for you. You just never know if that man is ever going to be there for you. You have to be ready to make sure your kids are taken care of in either situation. I honestly don't know why a woman that's only 35 years old would be on her 12th child. I honestly don't know, especially knowing that you're not able to provide for all those children unless you're on the system. Unless you're on the system. If you know you can't give those children what they need and what they want, and the only way you can provide from, for them is if you're on the system, you need to stop having children. Stop having children. If you know that the man that you're sleeping with isn't financially stable and isn't ready to be a father and he isn't ready to take care of any kids, don't have children with that man. Don't do it. How in the hell is a grandmother getting all 12 of these children? How? She's got a GoFundMe account right now, the grandmother, and she's raised over $100,000, which people have donated to, to help out the children and help that grandmother get a bigger house. But in all reality and in all actuality, the mother should already had a big enough house to take care of all 12 of, the, all 12 of those children she had. I don't understand that. Y'all bring these kids into poverty with no care in the world. Single mother households with all these children that you know you can't take care of and you know the man can't be there for you. What are you doing? What are you doing? And like I said, this is not to disrespect her because she did succumb after she had her 12th child. But my thing is, where's the accountability at? This should be a learning lesson to all women. This happens a lot in the black community more than ever. And then all these statistics want to pop out on how these mothers can pass away from childbirth more than white mother. Like, I don't want to hear nothing about those statistics. I want accountability. 
um, why these women are having babies after baby after baby and they know they can't take care of them. You're making yourself the statistic. You're making yourself the statistic. You know you can't do nothing for all these kids. You know that you probably don't want to be with these men or you know these men aren't possibly going to be with you. So what's the point on making babies with these men? What's the point? The grandmother has to be at least 55, 60, at least 55 or 60 years old. The 35 year old woman that passed away, her oldest child is 19. Y'all do the math on when she had her first child. Y'all do the math. Why bring 12 children into this world? Nick Cannon has about 12 children. But Nick Cannon can financially provide for those children. He can't give those children the time they want. And time is more important than money when it comes to kids. Believe me. But at the end of the day, at least he knows he can financially support his children. And if he did pass away, his children will, will probably, be le probably be left with a little bit of money. You have these women that are already on the system with one or two kids, and then they want to bring up to 12 children into this world. That's sickening. It's sickening. Nobody should be doing that. No woman at all should be doing that. No woman. There's no point in having that many kids if you're already on government assistance after the first one, the second one, or the third one. Why are you still going? Haven't some of you women ever heard of contraceptives? This doesn't apply to all women, but to the women that it do apply to, take it with a grain of salt. But for you women that's out here having multiple kids and multiple baby daddies, haven't you heard of contraceptives? Haven't you heard of contraceptives? Haven't you heard of making that man put on a condom? Haven't you ever heard of possibly choosing the right man to have a child with? You telling me out of all 12 of these kids, none of these kids' fathers can get them? None of these kids' fathers can uh, come snatch up their kid and say, I'm going to take a little bit of this off of your hand? I know for the most part that people want to raise and have all the siblings together, but sometimes desperate times call for desperate measures. And those fathers need to step up to the plate and get their children. Depending on how many children each man had um, with that woman that passed away. This is crazy. It's just crazy. And like I said, I'm just asking questions. I'm not here to bash her. But at the same time, accountability has to be uh, uh, talked about here. You can't keep having these kids. That goes for men and women. Stop having kids if you know you can't take care of them. At the end of the day, just get a contraceptive or get a vasectomy or a hysterectomy, whatever you need to get to stop having kids. Make sure you get it. This is pathetic right here. Now these kids have to be pretty much sitting here with their grandmother who's old, who probably is, is already hard to take care of two or three children, but 12 children. It's already hard enough. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Should this woman who passed away at 35 years old having her 12th child, should she have had that many kids in the first place if she knew she couldn't take care of them? Y'all let me know what y'all think. Anyways, that's my video for today. If you like the video, of course, comment, like, and subscribe. It ain't costing you a damn thing. And of course, I'm going to holler back at y'all later. Peace.